The Mercedes-Benz OM642 engine is a 3.0 liters, 2987 cc, 24 valve aluminum aluminum block and heads diesel 72 degrees V6 engine manufactured by the Mercedes-Benz division of Daimler AG as a replacement for the Mercedes straight 5 and straight 6 cylinder engines. The engine features common rail direct injection and a variable nozzle turbocharger. The injection system operates at 1,600 bars 23,000 psi, while the compression ratio is 18.0.1. The engine features a counter-rotating balance shaft mounted between the cylinder banks to cancel the vibrations inherent to the 72-degree V6 design, and the crankpins are offset by 48 degrees to achieve even 120-degree firing intervals. In some heavy vehicle applications, Mercedes Bluetech AdBlue urea injection is utilized for NOx reduction. In lighter vehicle applications, a NOx storage catalyst captures nitrous oxides, which are periodically purged decomposed by running the engine slightly rich. A particulate filter lowers soot, making this engine ULEV certified. Engine mass is 208 kilograms, 459 pounds. Power output is 165 kilowatts, 224 PS, 221 horsepower, and 510 Nm, 376 pound-feet of torque. For the 2007 model year, torque is raised to 540 Nm, 398 pound-feet. Beginning of summer 2017 the engine, together with Mercedes-Benz OM651 is in discussion that depending if the engine is operated in laboratory emissions testing a different amount of diesel exhaust fluid is used than in real-world operating scenarios. Topic implementation vehicles using this engine include Dodge Freightliner trucks, Mercedes-Benz Sprinter 2006 present, Jeep Grand Cherokee Week WH 2005 to 2010, Europe 1-2007-2008, Jeep Commander XK XH 2006 to 2010, Europe, Mercedes-Benz C320 CDI 2005 to 2009, Mercedes Mercedes-Benz E280 and E320 CDI, Bluetech 2007 to 2009, models 211.02 and 022 Mercedes-Benz C350 CDI 2009 to 2014, Mercedes-Benz CLK320 CDI 2005 to 2010, Mercedes-Benz E350 CDI, Bluetech 2010 present models 212.024 Mercedes Benz G350 CDI Bluetech 2007 present Mercedes Benz GLK350 CDI 2013 to 2015 Mercedes Benz R32350 CDI Bluetech 2007 present models 251.122 and 125 Mercedes-Benz ML 32350 CDI, Bluetech 2007 present, models 164.122, 125 and 024 Mercedes-Benz GL 32350 CDI, Bluetech 2006 to 2012, models 164.822, 825 and 824 Mercedes-Benz G GLC 350D 2016 present Mercedes Benz S 32350th CDI Bluetech 2005 present models 221.183 Mercedes Benz CLS 32350th CDI Bluetech 2005 to 2018 models 219.322 218 326, 926, 394, 994, 323, 923, 393, 993, 
Chrysler 300C 2006-2011 Europe and Australia only Mercedes-Benz Vito Van 120 CDI and Vito 204 Sports 2006 present UK Mercedes-Benz GLC 350 D 2017 present EU 1 EMEA 2 North America Topic Production The engine is manufactured at the Daimler AG plant in Marienfeld, Berlin, Germany, due to the inordinate number of pre-2010 OM642 engines needing repair due to heat-related seal degradation causing oil cooler leaks, Mercedes reformulated the seals from an orange color rubber to a purple color Viton seal now used in all 2010 and later engines. There is a Mercedes Technical Service Bulletin that states that the leak can be attributed to an improperly installed seal. This engine also has an inherent design flaw with the TWC temperature sensor, part no A005153-4028 and the part in the electronic parts catalog is now specifying part no A007153-7428. There is no recall on this service item yet. A check engine light may present with the OBD2 diagnostic code P2031 upon failure of this sensor, oil specification MB229.51 or MB228.31 is recommended, for the Bluetech engine in the GW463, GLX164 and MLW164 the oil spec, is 229.5 2 class, in addition to the oil cooler seals, this engine can also have an issue with the design of the positive crankcase ventilation system. The crankcase ventilation system vents to the inlet of the turbo. The issue is that the air vented from the crankcase contains too much oil to easily pass through the swirl motor valves downstream of the turbo. Once this oil and sludge begin to accumulate, the valve becomes inoperative and blows a fuse that controls many other sensors required to properly operate the engine and emission system. This will immediately place the vehicle into limp home mode and limit the RPM to 3000. It also causes a check engine light and numerous OBDII codes. Mercedes-Benz has previously recognized this feature of the vehicle and has stated that this engine feature, the accumulation of oil at the turbo inlet, is normal. In a technical service bulletin they issued in 2008 they state, Engine oil venting occurs on the right-hand side of the engine air intake duct. For this reason there is always some oil in the engine air intake duct, see Figure 3. This is no justification for replacing the turbocharger. Turbochargers replaced for this reason will not be covered by warranty. While a slight amount of oil may be normal and acceptable, sufficient quantities and accumulation will indeed lead to other failures as identified above. Honeywell Turbo Technologies produced the turbochargers used in the 2011 Mercedes S350 Bluetech engines. The glow plug controller is known to malfunction on these engines. There are several vehicle applications that use either 4 volt or 7 volt glow plugs. It is at present difficult to ascertain the output voltage of various suppliers' replacement modules. The Dorman 904-310 seems to output 7 volts. There are some year models of Jeep that require a module output for the 4-volt glow plugs installed on those models. The 2008 Mercedes E320 Bluetech has the NKCZ302 glow plug replaced by NKCZ303 that require 7 volts. Injector seats are known to fail, causing combustion chamber leakage and black death, a buildup of heavy carbon deposits around the injector. 
a Honda seal is softer and can seal better on refaced injector seats than the specified MB part. Topic intake system air is drawn into the engine through two air filters located above each cylinder head. The amount of the air is metered by two hot film mass air flow sensors B2, 6 and 7. On Sprinter models, a single air filter housing is mounted upon brackets on top of the engine. The variable geometry turbine is actuated via a linkage connecting the controller to vanes inside the turbine housing. In the full boost position, air is allowed to pass over the turbine impeller. In the no boost position the vanes block exhaust gases from acting on the impeller and route them down the exhaust pipe. Topic. See also List of Mercedes-Benz engines List of engines used in Chrysler products